Mesquite High School community is in mourning after 15 year old football player collapsed and died following practice. Tonight we were the only station with a camera inside Amy High School's gym as the football coaching staff addressed the team. Tonight, in his own words, the coach who performed CPR on Terrence Allen and watched him take his last breath. NBC Local 33's Jonah Gilmore was the only reporter to talk to him. Jonah is live tonight with what the coach is calling the most heartbreaking thing. Jonah. Hey, good evening, Dion. The defensive coach here in Singleton says, a meet is a very close-knit community. He spoke exclusively with me, telling me this loss is unlike anything he's ever experienced. The sweetest kid, it's tough to, when you think about the D-line position to consider somebody sweet, but he was the sweetest kid. Yeah. Tonight, the Amy community is trying to come to terms with the fact that a valuable member of its family is gone. It just got them all upset, and I'm sure it, they'll stay upset for a while. The coaches, the players, the community. But uh, we're going to live through it. We're going to live through it. Tuesday night, 15-year-old Terrence Allen, also known as TJ, was joking with his friends walking back to the locker room. Once inside, the defensive lineman collapsed. And, you know, that was, that was the most heartbreaking day, you know, to, to rush over to him, start CPR, um, get the kids out the locker room, um, get the ambulance in here, and just sit there and just fight with him, you know. Defensive lineman coach Henry Singleton says in those moments he tried everything he could to save the child's life. Paramedics walk in. Then you see them put the machine on him and start shocking him. And then, you know, you're sitting there, everybody's sitting there, you're praying, you're praying. Singleton says the most heartbreaking part is knowing Alan's mom watched her son die. And for his mom to be sitting out here at practice the whole time. Uh, to watch to watch her son walk in with her best friend with his best friend, you know clowning and stuff You know, that's the That's the toughest part though. The team has lost a key member of their family Singleton says they can only go on as TJ would want them So the best way to honor Terrence is to be like Terrence Walk the life that Terrence wanted us to walk now, the coaching staff say they understand the summer months are hot, so they push practice back to be later in the day to avoid the heat. An autopsy will be performed tomorrow to determine the official cause of death. Reporting live in Nate Meet, Jonah Gilmore, NBC Local 33 News.